Welcome YouTube friends and family. I'm Chris, this is Jeremy, and we are the Angler Brothers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our very first episode of Superhero Movie Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Mark of Zorro, a 1920 sound film. So I wanted to mention real quick while we're here how unsure we were about even watching a lengthy silent film, let alone including Zorro in our list of superhero characters. Right. And then we realized that Batman has no real superpowers, and he still is without a doubt considered a superhero. As a side note, The Mark of Zorro in some versions of Batman is the movie that the Waynes go to the night that Bruce's parents were killed. With that decided, we reluctantly fired up The Mark of Zorro, starring Douglas Fairbanks, which we surprisingly found streaming on Netflix. In this film, you see plenty of action and swordplay between Zorro and the governor, who happens to be the main antagonist of the movie. Also, the two other villains, Captain Ramon and Sergeant Gonzalez, together seek to oppress the people. Since we're talking about Zorro and his interaction with other characters of the film, it's a good time to talk about the female lead and his relationship to her, which in a small way mirrors that of the relationship that Superman has with Lois Lane. Now both girls, in both situations, have a romantic interest in the suave hero, while at the same time completely ignoring the nerdish and awkward advances of the alter ego. Which leads us into the comparison between Zorro and Batman. Now, in the movie, Don Diego is a rich and campy heir to his parents' wealthy empire. He leaves for a few years, comes back a completely changed man on the inside, while on the outside, he keeps his guys as a playboy who bores easily. Now, realizing that he needs to make a change and make a difference in everyone else's lives, he dons the mask of Zorro, a debonair swashbuckling hero who goes out to free his people. Now, if you look at Bruce Wayne, he's also a rich heir who decides to leave for a few years. Upon his return, he's decided to wear a mask to protect the city's people, all the while keeping the guys of a wealthy business. So the biggest surprise about this film? The fact that a 1920s movie actually had parkour. Parkour! 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 parkour.
Today we're going to be reviewing Mark of Zorro. That's all I'm going to say. That's it? Yeah. Today we're going to be reviewing the Mark of Zorro, a film from the 1920s. It's not a film from the 1920s. Which is the whole premise of why I'm saying it's the next part here. Uh, let alone including Zorro on our list of uh, superhero characters. That's my line. That'll be you, yeah. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. <laughs> yeah, no, that's your You now. never did. <laughs> Which leads us into the comparison between Zorro and Batman. Now, in the movie, Don Diego. What a brain fart. In the move down the air. <laughs> Which leads us into the comparison between Zorro and Batman. Now, in the movie, Don Diego is a wealthy playboy who leaves for a few years. <laughs> While on the outside, he keeps his guys as a playboy who is easily bored and who... Gosh. Easily bored. Just easily, easily bored. bored. He's easily bored. You got it until then. I did. Now, if you look at. Wow, you didn't make past the first three words. Now, if you look at Bruce Wayne, he also is an heir to a wealthy empire. He decides to leave his home for a few years, and upon returning, has decided to wear a mask to protect the city's people. So you just forgot where to go after that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm going to say next. It's dope. Now, if you look at Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Upon his return, he has decided to wear a mask to protect his city's people, all the while keeping... Oh, so you're like right there! The image of the wealthy business! You were thinking about what you were going to say. 